on the next episode of Hot Mom. Out of my bra! Do you see a stain on this? Do you see a stain? I don't see a stain in there. Thanks for choosing me. I know I'm hard to deal with. Real, real difficult. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. This is a weekly hot mom vlog. Trying to get our life together. Trying to get it together. Trying to snap it on back. I washed my hair today. It was something that needed to happen. I like I have to wash my hair once a week because I have dermatitis and my scalp, scalp be scalping, okay? Scalpisha, she be doing some things. So I'm washing my hair and I'm twisting it back up and I'm wearing a wig. I'm wearing a wig, I just, it's, it's a lot right now, it's a lot. Like, I just thought that, girl, I did my son's hair and looked at my daughter and I said, oh, oh, I, oh, I gotta do all three of our hair? I gotta do all three of our hair? And I said, no, like, not right now. At least not right now. Um, I'm sure my fro will be back out again at some point because, you know, I like wearing my hair out. You know, if my hair doesn't look the way that I want it to look, I, I ain't wearing it, I'm just not. Cause it's about how I feel, okay? It's about how I feel. Girl, it is noon. We are just now drinking our coffee. So if you're like me, that's okay. I took today off because we had to, we had to reset this house. We had to reset this house. Um, my mom went back home yesterday. I low key missed her already. I'm just really thankful that she did come here because I was able to keep my daughter home like for as long as I did until I was comfortable with her being away from me. And this is really the perfect time for y'all's little girlfriend to go to daycare with her brother because the milk factory is um, slowly closing, it's closed, slowly shutting its doors. It's just not producing as much milk as it did uh, when, when back in the day. Uh, I am not making milk like I used to. All that stuff that y'all told me to do, it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't working, it ain't working. And honestly, that's fine. That's fine because y'all's little girlfriend, she gots to go, okay? She is, she's getting evicted. She has to leave. She has to leave. She's gotta go. She's gotta go, okay? She aggressive with her food. She wants her food, she wants to eat right now, okay? So she will literally take my, my, mine, my out of my bra when she wants to. She, she, she will literally just pull down, pull it down. And I'm like, girl, girl, it's wild. And she got two teeth. Like she, she got two whole teeth. Like if, if she laughs, you can see them. They're down here. She got two whole teeth, which to me is not crazy because my y'all's little boyfriend, he was teething at four or five months old. By the time he was like nine months old, he had all his teeth. I think I think there were just two teeth that had come in yet. So we've been used to teeth this for a very long time. She she gotta go. Like she just mad aggressive beat and she gotta go. Like she she got to leave. Real quick for my skincare, I didn't finish my skincare routine. So my under eye, I use the belief. And then for my moisture, for my moisture, I use the belief aqua bomb. I think Sephora has a sale coming up, so I'm probably gonna buy both of these again. And then I use this as my SPF. Um, it was from my dermatologist, it's really good. It's expensive as hey, girl, this was $75. Don't talk to me about it, okay? Don't judge me. But it's it's really good, it's really good. Really good. I feel like I'm giving Coolio vibes. 
So I just did four, this is how I usually do my hair. I did four twists per section and then I like break them together. So the thing with this wig that I remember and it's all kind of coming back to me now is the elastic strap is not very tight. So I'm gonna have to fix this. And I think it's like transparent lace. Like I don't think it's HD lace, so. So I'm using Cantu, the leave-in conditioner. So y'all, I'm watching like Caleb Hammer, Financial Audit. They're talking to this couple, and I think they're both, she's 37, I don't know how old he is, I think he's younger than her, but they're like going through their finances. And dude was just like talking like he's the one that makes all the money, and she doesn't make a lot, so he has to support her so much and blah, 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 blah. A girl, he was talking like he was making, like he a high value man. You know, I, I, I keep trying to go up in my career and strive for more and she just, she just rests on her laurels. She don't do nothing. And so Caleb was like, well, how much do you make? She's like, I make like 30,000 a year. I'm a cook at a nursing home or whatever. And Caleb's like, well, how much do you make? And dude was like, you know, with overtime. I just want y'all to know, girl, when somebody says with overtime, when you ask them how much they make, <laughs> but like, like in, in the, in the first term is with overtime, they, not that they don't make a lot, but they don't, they not, how much, they, how much they act like they make is not what they make. However much they act like they make, it's not what they make. They make significantly less than how they act. Cause this dude was talking like he just be making bank. He was like with overtime and flex pay. So you know, he started explaining the pay. And I said, oh man. He was like, I make about 50, 60,000 a year. Oh, so he probably made like 10 grand more a year than her. And I ain't judging people who, I'm not saying like what he's making isn't a good enough income. Like, I'm not saying that at all. But he was talking like, <laughs> he rolled in the dough. He's just, she's just this broke nursing home chef that's holding him back. Like that's how he was acting. <laughs> so, but anyway, he was saying he's the responsible one and they're like combing through their finances. Dude is eating out every day, eating Burger King, Chick-fil-A, going to gas stations, buying coffee every day. He going to OnlyFans, he subscribed to OnlyFans accounts. He over here talking about her, her Mary Jane. He over here talking about her Mary Jane habit and her spending $40 a week. He spent like $10 a day on OnlyFans, girls. I'm like, bruh, big pimpin', big pimpin', big pimpin', pimpin'. Funny, cause he was like trying to rag on her, like she's the one holding him back and all that stuff. And I'm like, it's like forty thousand a year. That's actually a really good income. Like, I don't think people understand. Like, only ten percent of Americans make a hundred thousand dollars or more. Like, me and my boss were talking, and cause I want to ask for more money at my job, so he like talks to me about the process, which is why I love my boss, cause he didn't gatekeep. He told me like, this is how it would go. This is what I would need to do. I would have to talk to this group, this group, talk to the head person in charge, and then that's how it would work. And so he explained that to me. But he even he even made a statement like, you know, when you work in a corporate environment, you like will know what people make and you'll be like, I need to make more. And then he's like, but if you were to go to somebody outside of the company and tell them what you make, they would be like, wow, that's amazing, like you make so much money. And I, I think sometimes I just gotta check myself, but girl, inflation be inflating. Like the amount of money I make, I always dreamed of making this amount of money and how it would feel like and like what I would be doing if I made this amount of money. Girl, I ain't doing like, <laughs> I ain't doing like, I ain't doing like 30% of what I thought I would be doing <laughs> making this amount of money. I'm like, oh, I need to make more. Like, inflation be inflating. But, uh, yeah, girl, I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. I'll see you, I don't know. My husband's birthday, so we're gonna celebrate. So you'll definitely see us then. But, um, I hope you have a great day. Bye, Booski.
Hey girl, it's Friday. Y'all, we just got our house cleaned. And you know what's so funny? I didn't know they left. <laughs> I didn't know they left. Look how clean it is. Um, and then look at the carpet marks. Yes, yes, for the carpet mark. So thankful for that. I just, oh, it smells like lemon pledge. They actually left. I had left the money on the table, but I just had it there just to have it there. And girl, they dipped. They didn't even tell me back. <laughs> just, <laughs> they just left. Ooh, she funny. They just left, but, oh, and I can hear, you hear the echo. Oh, it's the echo of cleanliness. Don't you hear it? Don't you hear it? Girl, I'm so excited. So I was downstairs editing my video. So my vlog will be up. So hopefully I got no copyrights. Hopefully it just whoop, just uploads right on through. And I have some other videos that I need to edit. I have two videos I need to edit. I'm gonna try to find time. This was a rough rough week for that the house is clean oh girl i'm so excited yeah i wanted to talk to you about my business glam goods so i still own i still own the domain and all that oops sorry i still own like the domain and all that for my website but y'all yeah, be honest with you guys i feel like after this year i feel like i might just shut her down i started being a passion of mine and I wanted to prove to myself that I could do it and that I could make a profit and that I was capable of doing something that I never thought I'd be able to do. And I did do it. I did make a profit. But I think my problem is that I, I'm not good at people. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. And, and people who personally know me might be like, what do you mean? I am not good at people. I'm good at having conversations with people. I'm good at hanging out with people. I am good at connecting with people. I am not good at convincing you to that you can do something or convincing you that you should try something. Like people will see my makeup, right? And they'll say, oh my gosh, I love your makeup. I love your lashes. So a lot of people compliment me on my lashes. Okay, I'm not toot my own horn, but toot toot. So people call me on my lashes. And I always tell them where I get my lashes from. Not because it's from my business, but because I don't gatekeep. So if you see me with something and you compliment me on it, I'm gonna tell you where I got it from. And if I don't tell you where I got it from, it's, it's probably because I don't remember. <laughs> I, just, I just don't, look like, nothing I make, I don't know, like, People create multiple products for multiple people to have that same product. It's consumerism. So for me to sit up there and, and be like, oh no, I'm not gonna tell you where I got something, that's just dumb, girl, because the whole point of this person making 48 million handbags is so that 48 million people can have the handbags. So it's just like, and so what if we have the same thing? It all depends on how you style it, how I style it, how we wear it. You might rock it better than me. I might rock it better than you. We both might rock it. But at the end of the day, there are so many more important things in this world <laughs> than that. So I don't care. I mean, I'll tell y'all like where my glasses came from, where my shirt came from, where my, where my hair came from. I will tell you girl, because I don't care. Let's all wear the same. I don't care. I don't care. I will tell people where I got my lashes from. Oh, from website. And they'll go, oh, they're strip lashes. Yeah, they're strip lashes. And they go, oh my gosh. I wish I could wear strip lashes. I wish I didn't have to wear strip lashes. And I'll say, oh, go on YouTube, look for these videos. I have even sent people videos. And the response is, oh, that's too hard. And my response is, okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna fight you. Like, putting on lashes is too hard, too complicated, it's too much for you. I'm not gonna fight you. If that's, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. Okay, fine. I am just not a person that does well with people saying, oh, I can't do that, and then you give them the resources to help them, and they're like, oh, that's just too much. I'm not good at that, because there's not a lot in this life that is too, you are just incapable of learning it. You are incapable of doing it. I just don't believe that. My kids are, when they get older, cry like my mama is on my nerves because I don't ever, I don't ever wanna hear them tell me I can't do something, or this is too hard. No, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure out how do we do this. We're gonna try different ways, and at the end, as long as you try, that's all that matters. But in my 
my life experience, I have found that when I try really hard and I don't give up, I eventually figure it out. But I just, I don't do well when people tell me, oh, I can't do something and then they give you resources and they're like, oh, that's too much. Like, okay, then it's too much. And as someone who owns a business, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't just be like, oh, okay, girl, that's fine. You, Cause you want people to buy your product. And for me, I'm not gonna argue with you. I don't believe that about you. You think you're incapable of learning and that it's too much, but if you believe it, then you believe it. You know, I don't know. If you want to spend two hundred dollars, two hundred fifty dollars to get your lashes done, girl, be my guest. I spend that much to get my nails done. Like I I'm not judging you, and don't judge me. We all have our vices. I don't know. It's just the whole convincing people that they're capable of doing something that is like easy. It's just like <sighs> I think that's what it is. I think people don't want to go through the ugly part, but it's crazy because back in the day, everybody went through the ugly part. We all went through the ugly part. It was like expected that you were gonna go through the ugly part. But I feel like we feel like because of social media, nobody wants to go through the ugly part. They just want to be good. You know what I mean? Like makeup. You got girls who are just like. Oh, I can never do my makeup. Yes, you can. You just gotta practice. Oh, it doesn't look the way I, I want it to. Duh, duh, it won't. Girl, the first time you do your makeup, it's gonna be trash. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find some pictures of my makeup. Y'all, when I was learning to do my makeup at 20 years old, I looked crazy. I had bright pink lipstick. I had lip liner that was not for my complexion. I was running out in bright pink eyeshadow, blue eyeshadow. I had what I thought was blonde hair, which was really burnt orange hair. I looked crazy. But but I had to go through that ugly stage and play with my makeup to get it to where it looks now. I went through that ugly phase, but then after a week, I could get that sucker on my eye, on my waterline, on my waterline, my lash line. And after a couple more days after that, I was boop, boop. Nobody wants to go through the ugly phase. Nobody wants to go through the learning stage. Everybody just wants to be good. And it's fine if you want to pay to get your makeup done. It's fine if you want to pay to get your nails done. It's fine if you want to pay to get your lashes done. That's fine. It's fine if you want to pay to get your wig installed. That's fine. That is fine. I'm not judging y'all. That's fine. No, it's not that you can't. You just won't try or you prefer to pay somebody to do it. That's all. Just say that. <laughs> just, just say that. I don't really like, I don't want to convince you to shop on my website. It's even more annoying when people compliment me and I tell them where their stuff is from and there's like a rebuttal on like why they can't do it or why they can't per or why they like you don't you don't have to say that. You could just say, I like your lip gloss. Oh, it's from glamgoods.com. Oh wow, that's great. The end. <laughs> that's all. That's it. Or you don't have to say anything. That's it. Um, it's something that I thought I was gonna be able to like handle and work around and I can't. Ooh, and my man just bring me Chick-fil-A. You said Chick-fil-A? Hey, it's Chick-fil-A. QRS, I'm by myself? Wow. You a hater. I hope your dad is enjoying basketball. He claims he's not gonna stop till he's 50. What do you think? I want to jump. You, you think it's possible? How's the window? Look out the window. I'm looking out the window. <gasps> Who's that? Um, better not be anybody. Who's that? It better not be anybody. You need to chill Mommy. with that. You freak me Mommy. out with that stuff. What makeup am I gonna do? Oh. Hey girl. It is. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. Uh, today has been a kind of a long day. I took my kids back to my mom or my aunt's house. Yeah, girl, I took both of them, both of them for the night so that we could celebrate uh, my husband's birthday. Wish him happy birthday, please. I didn't get him a gift. I asked him what he wanted, and he said he wanted nothing. So I'm just, I'm just gonna trick on him. Happy birthday. I thought I'd have more time to get ready, but with driving and running errands on stuff, not really. 
Um, so yeah, that's why I'm kind of rushing a little bit. I, there's some like cool things that happened today and there was like a weird thing that happened today. So I went to, I went to Target to return some diapers cause my ugh, girl, if you're for the bombs out there, don't buy them Pampers baby dry. Don't do it, don't do it. Don't, did you hear me? I told you not to do it. Those diapers suck. They suck. But I was up several times last night with y'all's little girlfriend changing her. She it was it was literally like I would change her and then maybe two hours later she's up talking about oh, she wet. Talking about mama change me. I'm wet. I done peed my wife away. Go to Target there and I said, hey, you know, I got these baby dry diapers. They suck. I want to swap them for the swaddlers. And Target has this policy where you can only return things. Uh, without a receipt within a hunt like like a hundred day time frame so apparently I had already done that because we swapped out a bunch of diapers I had to find somebody who didn't use their license yet because when you do a return you have to use your license and they scan your license I was just like screw it I'll buy these $45 diapers I'll buy them whatever this woman's behind me and she goes I can do it I turn around of course it's a black girl I can use my car it's no problem I was like, really? Like, are you serious? And she said, yeah, it's no problem. It's no problem. Girl, I wish I could have hugged her. I didn't do that because I didn't know her. Maybe she's not a hugger, but I wish I could like bought her something or done something for her. So girl out there, whoever you are, thank you. Thank you so much. Cause you saved me so much time, so much effort, so much energy. You just like made my life so much easier. It's just those little things. So that was wonderful. Black women looking out for each other, love it. So now I gotta do something nice for somebody else. Cause what goes around comes around. Okay, so for the, it wasn't weird. It was just like, people are ridiculous. So I go to Once Upon a Child because I had some more stuff to like get rid of and I wanted to, you know, I'm trying to sell some stuff before I just give it away. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting in the line and there's a woman that's got like a basket of stuff and she's in the line where you buy things and where you go to see like, did you get any money for your stuff basically. She goes to the front and it's like, can I speak with somebody? And I said, oh boy. Here we go. The woman is like, well, what do you need help with? And she is complaining because I guess she brought this big basket of clothes in, of like children's clothes in, and they didn't buy a lot of her stuff. She starts running down the names of the labels. Well, this is Kids Gap, and this is Oshkosh Bagosh. Like, why? Like, like, you guys won't buy this? And the woman's like, well, ma'am, like, I'm not a buyer. The buyers have certain criteria that they, you know, look at these things for, blah, blah, blah. And she's just like, well, what about this? This is Oshkosh Bagosh. And the girl looks at it and she goes, well, it has a stain on the back. The woman gonna turn around and look at me and go, do you see a stain on this? Do you see a stain? I don't see a stain anywhere. But you can see the ribbons of a stain, but you know, I trying to, you know, I trying to get into it. So I told her, you know, well, upon first glance, I don't see anything, but then again, I don't work here. <laughs> I literally said that. She is just going back and forth. Well, I just thought that I could go to, well, I could just sell it here instead of having a garage sale because I can just have a garage sale. Go have a, go have a dang garage sale, girl. Like, she's just like, what do you mean you didn't want to buy this? Like, this stuff is barely worn. It's, it's this label, this label. Mind you, she over here in some Louis Vuitton boots and a Valentino purse arguing with them people who got all this stuff going on they ain't got time to be bothered that work at the children's the, the children's place or the or once upon a child arguing with them about why wouldn't you buy my stuff look how nice my stuff is look at the labels for my stuff girl you walk around with designer drip me down you should not be falling apart about some little baby clothes that they was probably gonna only give you like 40 50 dollars for she looked really foolish she came off really pretentious and it was, it was embarrassing. I'ma need you to chill. I just need people to understand like, just because you care about name brand labels or designer labels, I'm not saying her kid, the kid's clothes was designer, but just because you care about it, doesn't mean other people care about it. It was kind of funny. Like I was trying to stop myself from laughing at her because she just, she just looks so ridiculous. Well girl, I'm gonna hop off cause I'm gonna finish my makeup. And I want to listen to some music and 
uh, YouTube gonna copyright me if I listen to music and keep talking to you on here, so. But I'll show you my look after. I'm probably gonna do some like brown shadow, maybe do a little razzle dazzle on the eye, maybe a little razzle dazzle. Man. collapsed on me and I can't make the pass that I want to make. Okay. Or I was just, so I began frustrated. And so I called the Ryan, it's like, yeah. I get player and a half, I got in the field. Well, I don't he know why you playing with people, they're trying to get their stats up. Uh, uh, hey, okay, we're ready. Um, I don't, we're not ready. Okay, cause, because I don't know what shoes to put on. Uh, so, I don't know if y'all can really see. I need to like, girl, I should probably flip the camera around. I'll see him out wearing these boots. But then I was also thinking about wearing these shoes because I haven't worn these in a while. So I thought about wearing these because here's my outfit. Like this jacket's from Zara. This is from Amazon. This is from Amazon. Amazon. These are the pants. They look so cute. They look so cute. Y'all, I'm losing my baby tummy, but they look so cute. I kind of want to wear these because I won't be able to pretty soon, but then Jesus fire fam. I'm gonna ask my husband what I should wear. It's cold outside. So I probably answer my question because it's cold outside. I'm gonna wear these boots. We're ready. I mean, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I just want everybody to know that I'm ready to go. You know, shoes waiting at the door. You know what I'm saying? Make up a shitting. But the birthday boy, he's not ready to go. We might, we might be late. We might be late for our reservation. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> here's the whole outfit here's the shoes so here's my bag uh my lashes are plush from glam goods and then lip gloss is cute and then um it's my usual jewelry we about to go we about to celebrate we about to celebrate we about to sell okay i'm not gonna try to twerk y'all i can't twerk remember i'm part of the black people cannot dance committee we are needed and we are important. Can't dance, but I can write you an algorithm. Girl, I can solve you an algorithm. I can do that. I can tell you if your formula is correct or not. I can do that. I can do some math. I can't do that. Can I shake my ass? Let's go. So we ended up at this like little kind of food bar. They had fantastic wings, okay? Fantastic, okay? They poured, they poured fantastic libations. But I just, I just want to say like, I just, the club ain't what it used to be. Like these girls was naked. I mean, I saw areolas. I mean, I saw some, I, I saw some, some private regions. It was a little ridiculous, uh, but. Just let me know if you feel that way about the club. Have I just not been outside yet? Like, I know I'm not young, but I ain't old. Like, I'm 34. I'm 34 and fine, but I just, I'm not old. I was just, and it's just ain't what it used to be. Just not what it used to be. But yeah, girl, that's the end of the vlog. I hope you have a great week. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. You should comment, like, and subscribe. And you should share. Share the video. Help a sister out. 
help me help you help me help you but i hope you have a blessed week hope you have a great week hope you get everything you deserve and want and so much more bye girl